These players don't belong in the NBA G League. They're better than the NBA G League to me. And, I mean, I'm just going to name them. There's no specific order, but you can take it how you want it. I got to go with Imani Bates. I am going to actually try to order them, and I'll fix the order if I um, say them out of order. But I'm going to go with Imani Bates as number one. He played for um, the Cavs in Summer League, and he's been dominating since high school. Uh, I mean, he's been in the G League for a while. I think he went, yeah, he went straight there out of um, out of high school. He just didn't go to college, and he's been straight up dominating. He's at an, an NBA level already. He's getting better. His handles are getting better. His three-point shot is, like, clutch right now. Um, his game is just so smooth. He's, like, a, a long, uh, like, a KD-type player. He's, uh, he's averaging 27.3 points a game in the G League um, at, and shooting 45.8%. Um, he just deserves a spot on the team. I feel like he would be great for the Cavs. He's a great young player. Um, like I said, um, I, I think it's because of, uh, what's his name? I think it's because... Oh, I think it's because of Donovan Mitchell that he's not on the team. I, I mean, they're building around Do Donovan Mitchell, and I think he's overrated. I think he just stat pads. Um, he's always wanting to shoot the ball, and having another person that needs a ball, the ball in their hand, is just going to disrupt his points a game. I don't think Cavs are going anywhere just because they don't have a winning team. He's more in for stats and um, building himself up that way. Um, so, yeah, Imani Bates is number one. Number two for me, I got to go with Cam Whitmore. I saw him play for the Rockets, and he's straight dominating. He was dominating in the summer league, and um, I just I, I don't understand why he's in the G League right now. He's averaging 24.3 points a game. He's that guy. He can give you buckets and key um, under pressure and, and key moments. He'll step up. I, I thought he was incredible. Um, I, I just don't understand why he's not in the league right now. He, uh, I guess they have a lot of players, I mean, they do have a lot of players for um, the Rockets, but I feel like he can come off the bench if need be. Cam Whitmore is a star in my eyes, so I got to go with Cam Whitmore for sure. Um, number three, I'm going with, uh, I'm going with Matt McClung because Matt McClung's my guy. He's a rising point guard. He can do it all. He can dish it. He can shoot the three. He can drive to the lane. Um, I mean, he, he has a jumper for sure. The only thing he's lacking is probably a defensive presence, but his offensive presence and what he can do on the offensive side of the ball is more than enough. Um, and he's averaging 25.4 points a game. Um, 4.3 rebounds, 5.7 assists, and one steal. He, he's just, I mean, he's just an all-around good ball player. I'd love to see him uh, in the league, and he deserves a spot. 
Um, who else? Oh, Dominic Barlow for the Spurs. He is in a two-way contract, but I think he deserves a straight-up guaranteed spot on the Spurs. The Spurs are lacking a power forward anyway. Now that their main power forward um, and Sohan is a point guard, I I think Greg Popovich is a uh, loony right now and his days are over for coaching. So uh, I think Dominic Barlow will definitely um, be getting a guaranteed spot soon. He averages seven rebounds a game, two assists, and he's scoring 26.3 points a game. Uh, I think the Spurs need another powerful guy on their team. I, I know um, Victor Wimbanyama can't do it by himself, and I think Dominic Barlow is that guy. He'll get you buckets down there. Uh, another person... I'm actually going to put him at number four instead of Dominic Barlow and put Dominic Barlow at the fifth just because I think Isaiah Mobley is a underrated big guard and he's definitely um, proved himself when they, they won like two back-to-back um, summer league, um, games, or, yeah, so two years in a row, and I just think he, he's a rising star, dude was never a point, a point big, and then he became that, um, at 6'8", and he's just been dominating, I always, I mean, they had him at, a, like, 6'10", in college days, but, I don't know. He just seems bigger than a 6'8". He might be 6'9". Um, but he, he definitely uh, can get it done. 21.1 points a game. Um, like 10 rebounds. Wait, where is it? I keep losing where he's at. Um, forces, like one block a game. I, I think he's great. He gets his team involved. He brings the energy. He can shoot the ball. He can drive the ball. He he's uh, very strong to to the basket. Can dunk the ball real well. Um, he's even a good defensive presence as well. Um, and he's a lot quicker than you think. He, I mean, his offensive moves are kind of slow, but at the same time, they're efficient. And he's just a big body. He's a lot faster than you think, but at the same time, he's a little bit slow, if that makes sense. But... I would love to see him play um, for Cleveland. And again, I think that's uh, a Donovan Mitchell thing. That's the reason he's not in, uh, in the league right now is because of Donovan Mitchell and him always having to have his uh, the ball in his hands. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Wow. I gotta put this guy in the league too. This is my dude Johnny Z Juzang. Dude, dude is crazy. He might not have had um, his presence in the league yet, but I've seen him uh, in clutch moments in college, and I just know he's that good. Johnny Juzang, once he uh, get his rhythm. I have seen him do pretty well. 
um, in summer league. But he, I just don't think he's had the opportunity in the league yet. Um, but he will. I'm going to put him in the league as well. Um, he'll probably be behind this guy. But he's scoring 20.8 points a game. Um, Two point eight rebounds and three point four assists. One point three. Oh, maybe I read that wrong. Oh, it's one point three rebounds. Okay, so 3.4 rebounds, 1.3 assists, 0.8 steals. Um, I, I definitely think he's a good defensive presence and also offensive. Um, he's not a humongous scorer, but he can score. He can he can be streaky, and um, he, he's just an overall uh, a good... Um, He's a pretty good ball handler as well. Um, yeah, I'm I'm putting him in the league as well, but I gotta put Josh Christopher before him because it's just weird for him to not be in the league because he's that good. He must just not be trying or just trying to stay in basketball shape for when he gets those minutes. Um, he plays for the Rockets, and he's a good, he's not really a point guard, but he's more of like a wing player, um, or maybe like a small forward. He's short like a point guard, but he's like a small forward. He's scoring 17.8 points a game. Three point one rebounds. Wait. Oh, four rebounds, six point eight assists, and one block. Or one steal and point nine blocks a game. So I uh, I just think it's more of uh maybe injury or um just not trying as much, but I know him and Jalen, um, Jalen Green are work well together. They can like go crazy on fast breaks and stuff. Um, yeah, I think, I think they're, that he, he'll be back. Um, it's just weird for him not to be in the league. I, He's definitely a good presence on um, for the Rockets. He's definitely good enough. He's he has some crazy hops too. Um, I think he's more he's better at driving to the basket than shooting threes. Uh, I, I think he also has a good jumper. He's not that great on defense, but. He can get you steals. Um, so yeah, that's that's gonna be my um, my group of guys. So we got Imani Bates as number one, Cam Whitmore number two, Mac McClung number three, Isaiah Mobley number four. Dominic Barlow, number five. Uh, Josh Christopher, number six. 
and Johnny Juzang number seven. That's my group that are better than the G League. 